All right, now in this video, we're going to be translating and going over chapter four. But it's at point, this point that we are being introduced to a new kind of function for a noun and a sentence, and that is a direct object. So far, we have talked about subjects. Subjects are the doer of the verbs. And so, for example, Marcus shouts. He does the shouting. Sextus falls. He does the falling. Marcus and Cornelia laugh. They do the laughing. But the direct object is the receiver of the action, not the doer. So if I were to say Mr. Adam kicks the chair, <laughs> Mr. Adams does the kicking, chair received that action. Mr. Adam loves the copier. Mr. Adam's doing the loving, but the copier receives that action. And so we will encounter these direct objects. Now in English, you usually know what the subject and the direct object is because of word order. So if you want to say, Boy bites dog. You know that boy is the subject. He's the one doing the biting. And dog is the direct object receiving the biting. But in Latin, it does not matter. Instead, what does matter is the form of the word, not the word order. So if we look over here, there's a new form that is the form used for direct object, and we call it the accusative. So nominative subject, direct object, accusative. And so if in the singular, and that's what, how it is divided, up at the top singular, down at the bottom plural, if your noun ends with am, it's accusative direct object, um, it's accusative direct object, and em, accusative direct object, and this corresponds with the three kinds of nouns that exist in the Latin language. First declension nouns with the first declension endings, second declension nouns with second declension endings, and there is a kind called third declension nouns that have third declension endings. Now note in the nominative subject, the question marks, because there is no ending, it's just whatever the word looks like when we encounter it. And in the plural, these are your endings as well. And, and, such that the girl does something, somebody verbs the girl. The girls do something, the subject verbs the girls. And that's the difference. So if I were to have written on the board the following, with my accusative ending, with my nominative ending, what I have written in blue does not say the boy bites the dog, but because of their forms, you know that the nominative dog is doing the action as the subject. The dog bites the boy. Word order in Latin, not important. What is important is knowing whether it has the form to be the subject, the doer of the action, or whether it has the form of the accusative direct object, the receiver of the action, the thing that answers whom or what after the verb. And let's see the forms that we encounter in chapter four. So it says, Sextus es puella molestus. Sextus is an annoying boy. Subject, linking verb. Remember, est and sunt are linking verbs. They're equal signs. And this is my CPN. That is a noun in the nominative renaming my subject. Sextus is an annoying boy who always annoys Cornelia. You see, Cornelia's not doing a darn thing. She is receiving the action. And please don't call her Cornelian. Her name is Cornelia. Even though it is Cornelian because she is functioning as the direct object. I know because she is accusative with that accusative form. Cornelia, therefore, known a mock. She does not like, she does not love. Sextus, you see the subject, verbs the direct object. The subject, Cornelia, I know she's the subject because of her subject nominative form. I know that Sextus is the direct object. Hodie, today, Cornelia sleeps under the tree. Sextus spots, catches sight of the girl. Sextus is doing the action. The girl is receiving the action. The girl, I can tell due to the fact that it is accusative direct object, is receiving the action, not doing it. And sneakily, this is not 
a direct object. This is merely an adverb that happens to end with the letter M. It means sneakily or furtively. And sneakily, she or he approaches. Since it's sextus, we know that it is he. The tree is the first word listed here, but are we going to say the tree does anything? No. Instead, we go and find the subject. And you can always find the subject in the verb, but those are the rules. Rule number one, find the subject. You're looking for nominative. I don't see anything nominative in this whole sentence. Rule number two, find the verb, because remember, in the verb, you will always have the subject with the T for he, she, or it, or Enti, subject they. And so here, he climbs the tree. The tree isn't doing anything. The tree, without he ending, is the accusative. He climbs the tree, and suddenly he shouts, by, with, because of, from, in, on, at, a big voice. It is just because of the form. You'll learn about it later. The voice, the woke him, is the first word. Is it doing anything? No. Find your subject, nominative. Cornelia hears the voice out it, but sex isn't doing anything, so, but she does not see Sextus. Your first word, out it. That's what you're going to be putting down for the easy free 100. So, Cornelia hears a voice, but she does not see Sextus. The magna wokes, the big voice, terrifies Cornelia. Look at Wokes. It doesn't have an A. It doesn't have a U.S., but it does have the whatever form. And so Wokes, the voice does something. Woke him, the subject verb's the voice. So here it is. You see? Cornelia verbs the voice. Here's the voice. Here the voice, and it's a big voice, is scaring Cornelia. Now, do you see how it says masculine or feminine? We don't know the gender, but look at what's modifying it. Do you see how it's magna with an A? That tells me the voice is a feminine voice. Voice as a word is a feminine word. And so when a noun, like voice, is modified by an adjective, it has to have the same case, nominative, nominative, the same number, that's singular, that's singular, and the same gender. And since I know that magna has to be feminine because of that A, Voice is feminine as well. He, she, or it is worried. Well, look, it's an A, so I know it's not a he, but a she. She is worried. Then Marcus runs towards the tree. Marcus catches sight of, he's the one doing it because he's nominative, the accusative annoying boy, and he shouts, Day skin, day sex, day climb down, descend, sextus. Sextus shouts, Marque, talking directly to him. Why do you not climb the tree? Look at Ascanius. We have now, for the first time, a new subject. So far, we've only had he, she, or it, and they. But now we have S as an ending, and that tells me the subject is you. And so he asks, why do you not climb the tree. But do I need this two? No. Because quite frankly, I already have the S. The difference is that when you add the two, which is nominative subject, it emphasizes, why are you not climbing the tree? Without it, if I were to scratch it out, why are you not climbing the tree? Here, why are you not climbing the tree? That's your second word, ascanus, that put into the embedded quiz. Ascanus, that's your second. Nihil may tap it. Nothing scares me. Quid, what scares you? Look at the difference between the tag. Here, that is the direct object accusative form for you. That is the nominative subject form of you. Kawe sex day, be careful, Sextus. Marcus shouts, Rami, nominative, plural, masculine. Sunt, all linking verbs are equal sign. Nominative plural masculine. Compliment. The branches are shaky. The branches are weak. Suddenly, Marcus and Cornelia, they hear an accusative, do you see the form? Big crash. Now, Fragorin, 
Do you see the EM? It's a third declension. Do we know whether it's masculine or feminine? Yes. And how do we know? Do you see how it is modified by magnum? Um, masculine. So that tells me that Fergora is masculine. It has to agree in the same case, accusative, accusative, number, singular, singular, and gender, masculine, masculine. Sextus falls out of the tree. Marcus and Cornelia laugh, read it. But Sextus, known read it, does not laugh. One last thing in this chapter. If your name, or if the noun, ends with the letter U.S., like Marcus, Erwus, even Ramus, then when you talk directly to them, you will replace the U.S. with an E. Do you see how we're talking directly to Sextus and we say Sexte? Shouting directly to Marcus and we say Marque? Talking directly to Sextus, Sexte? That is the only time in which it changes when you're talking directly to them, when it ends with the U.S. Your third and final word, Fragorim, that accusative direct object, the direct object, the receiver of the action. Thanks so much.